Hey guys, how's it going? Jeepopolis here, and today I got another install video. I know they've been kind of uh, slowing down recently. There's been a lot of kind of vlogging style videos, and that's just because some of the uh, mods coming up are going to be very intense on my wallet. So we got some small stuff in the meantime. I do have another part coming in shortly. I had to pre-order it because it's not fully out yet. But today I have to use some custom speedometer and tachometer gauges from US Speedo. We're gonna be installing on Reaper here. It goes with my uh, Grim Reaper red theme going on. So I'm really excited to get these things installed. So sit back and relax and enjoy. All right guys, so first part of this assembling our interior is gonna be the taking this piece out that is under the steering wheel. You can use your plastic pry tool to make life a lot easier. As well as being that I live in the north and it's, uh, it's winter time right now. It's definitely helpful to heat up your car before you do this and you're much less likely to start breaking clips because uh, these jails are really in there. Yep, like that. There we go. Just remove this piece just put it in the back seat for now or the passenger seat all right so next we're going to be removing our climate control panel and to do so we're just going to pop it off in this corner first and then work our way over just uh i recommend being a tad careful you really don't want to scratch these panels up oh i really got this guy on here I'm gonna get an angle on this thing. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then go ahead and disconnect both wiring harnesses. And then place this guy to the side as well. Also, there's supposed to be a bunch of other white clips here my dealership lost them so yeah it's all sorts of annoying but hey all right so our next step is to take out these two seven millimeter screws here you can use a phillips head or seven mil i'm using a seven when you put these back in just make sure not to over tighten them it is just going to plastic all right and with those out we can now remove our entire bezel here. There we go. All right, so we have another screw right here and then we can go ahead and remove our top dash piece. With that screw removed, we can go ahead and remove the top of our dash right here. So this is a very weird spot to get your trim removal tool in and the panel actually has to come straight back towards you. So just give it a good grab with your hands and pull straight back towards you. It's much harder than it, looks, than it sounds. All right guys, we're gonna be honest with you. This is one of the worst trim pieces I've ever removed. I thought the subwoofer was bad. This is a lot worse. So just keep that in mind as you're trying to do this. Woo! Be careful you don't lose the blue clips in the far corners. The one that I'm trying to pull out that's holding this whole thing together right now. Lost the clip on that side. <laughs> Alright guys, well, you win some, you lose some. It happens. Alright, next there's going to be two 7mm screws on this side of the steering column and on this side of the steering column. Once you remove those... And once you remove those, we can go ahead and then remove this trim piece around this. Next, we can go and remove these four seven millimeter screws that are around this bezel. Am 
might need an actual screwdriver for these two. All right, for this, these two middle screws, you're best off just using a screwdriver, or if you have an extension. And then you can start removing the bezel. Suggest putting the steering wheel down. All right, and then put this to the side. Just be careful not to scratch it. All right, guys, we have four more screws to take out the gauge cluster here, 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 and here. So let's go do that real fast. You're gonna have to play with the steering wheel a lot to access these screws, guys. All right, now we can go ahead and remove our entire gauge cluster assembly, which should slide right out of place and then disconnect our wiring harness that's on the top. All right, now we can take this inside and finish the rest of our install. All right, guys, so before we dive into this, I want to talk about what you're going to need. First is a needle removal tool. This isn't exactly a needle removal tool, but it should work fine for our purposes. Then you're going to need a T9 Torx. This is really small, and it's a specialty tool, so make sure you have this before you start it. Uh, I'm lucky I had this. I didn't think about it prior, and I was just very considerate and lucky. Um, then you're going to need a marker. I have this washable Crayola marker, and that's just to mark your needle positions where they are naturally on the gauge face before you install your new ones. All right, guys, so your next step is going to be removing the six T9 screws that encompass the outside of the gauge cluster. Alright, so to remove the lens from the instrument cluster, we have to remove these clips from the top and the bottom, and I said that in reverse order, I know I'm stupid, so let's go give that a shot. All right, our next step is to remove this silver piece. You should be able to pry it up carefully. So now we want to mark where the needle naturally ends. To do so, we just go counterclockwise until the needle reaches its natural stopping point. And we're just going to mark it slightly on the gauge face itself. Just enough to see. And then we're going to go and use our needle removal tool to remove the needles. All right, to remove the needles, hold the hub in the center of the needle and use your needle removal tool to pry straight up. With. All right, so our next step is to replace our gauge faces. We'll just pull these guys off. A little bit of glue from the factory. Don't fret, just be a, a little careful in case you decide to put these back on. Or we can put our new gauge faces on.
All right, so our next step is to reinstall our needles. So get them in place, push down while simultaneously pushing counter, turning counterclockwise. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our fascia. Our next step is to reinstall our face. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our six T9s. Alright guys, first step of reinstallation is to reinstall our gauge cluster after plugging her back in. Put her in place, line it all up. They just shut the lights on. <laughs> yep, that's a thing. Forgive this shot, everybody. For forgive the lighting. All right, guys, next we're gonna be installing our dash piece. All right, so now we're going to finish putting in our bezel around the steering column. And then reinstall our two screws. Alright everybody, our next step is to reinstall the top portion of our dash, the little leather piece. And this is going to be slightly difficult because of its length being the entire length of the Jeep. So just try and uh, match it up as best you can and then just give it some good pushes because these are all metal clips. Let's go. With all those clips in, we can go and reinstall our screw. Next step is to reinstall our radio bezel. So just line up your clips, get some good firm pushes, and then reinstall our two screws down here. Stop. Our next step is to reconnect our wiring harnesses for our ignition and our HVAC. And then we gotta fish everything back in its place. The HVAC being, or sorry, the uh, ignition being a pain in the butt. And push it all in. All right, our final step of reassembly is to put this panel back in. With that, reinstallation is complete. Ten bucks a month with no commitment. I mean, come on. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to check it out, I'll have a link in the description below to USSpeedo.com. They have a bunch of different colors for these things, and honestly, I thought it was going to be much worse to install than it was. That was just a one beer job. I know I didn't rate it at the beginning, but I did rate it right now for you guys. 
Um, if you've been following the Instagram at Project Reaper JL, you know I have some big things coming. Uh, you will see some more on that actually tomorrow. Today is the 11th, so on the 12th you'll see some more. This video is probably going to go up in a couple days. If you liked it, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the like button, comment. It really helps out a lot, guys, getting the content out there. Uh, I appreciate you watching and have a good one.